game is coming to an end! How's it going? Welcome back to Brown Table. Now you know me at- Okay, you probably don't know me, but you may know me as the guy that reanimated that one X-Arm scene. I'm also the guy that fixed up Marvel Spider-Man 2017 as well. And now it's time to do the same to My Hero Academia. But why My Hero? Is it a bad show? No, not by any means. It's actually solid. It was one of the first anime I ever watched, and the first three seasons are still some of the best shonen anime has to offer in my opinion. And now we're at season six, and I believe there's some things that are holding it back. My Hero Academia has been on a slight visual decline as of late, and I feel like a lot of it is due to crunches and time constraints. Take the footage I just showed you. The studio that produces the animation for the My Hero anime, Studio Bones, had to simplify the incredible work of Vincent Chanzar down the animation pipeline because they just didn't have enough time. Because this happened, he asked to not be credited in the episode. This isn't exclusive to My Hero, this happens in a lot of productions, but it sucks to see. And stuff like this, I believe, is still happening. It's not the worst thing ever, but it can be noticeable, especially when compared to the show's first three seasons. I've seen people on Twitter going like, why does My Hero look like this? It's such a bad adaptation at points, MAPPA should pick up this anime, and you know, exaggerated claims. And it's not even about MAPPA, Studio Bones does Mob Psycho 100. They can produce high quality animation. They already adapted My Hero to perfection with its first three seasons. Also, don't give MAPPA any more work. Holy shit, man. MAPPA, I would like an update on Ice Adolescence. Where is it? For me, the issue with My Hero currently has more to do with presentation rather than animation. Now, I'm not saying I want this, by the way, but at the end of the day, a show can essentially just be slides, an animatic, basically, and still be one of the most riveting pieces of media you've ever watched. I think it comes down to execution. I think My Hero Academia can be improved visually fairly easily. You wanna know how I know this? It's because the ED for this season, or the first core of season six, looks exactly how I wish the show looked all the time. Like, look at this shot. Dude, why not do that all the time? I don't know. Let's stop for a second. I was gonna, I was gonna do like a whole, all right, let's get started editing in this video, but I just couldn't take it. I'm editing the video right now and I saw this example I did and I'm like, I have to improve it because it's actually really simple to make this shot from the show look like the ED shot. Okay, let's, let's do this right now. So this is the shot and we want to make it look like this. Light is going to be coming from the bottom. So we're going to add the shadow on top. So that's 60. That's where the light's coming from. The second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually, uh, little highlights on her eyes. We're gonna add some light to that. One last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it feel a little more creamy. By that I mean just a little more blurry. And so we end up with this. What I wanna do is save as many people as I possibly can! Ignoring how they get their animation done, MAPPA has become synonymous with top tier animation. Fans simply want that for My Hero. They want that OP look. Just today, the OP of the second core came out. It looks freaking amazing. I hope the show looks like that too, and not just the OP. It's not that some fans literally want MAPPA to make My Hero. It's that they simply want that higher production value look for the show. So this is what I want to do. I want to color grade My Hero Academia. I want to reinterpret visuals from the show, and I want to make sequences look slicker. And by the way, when I make these videos, this isn't me going, ha ha, look how much better I'm doing than, you know, a professional studio. No, it's more so to just scratch a niche I have, and because I'm capable of doing it, I'm gonna do it. And why not show you guys as well? So let's get started. Real quick before we do start, make sure to check out Interstellar Ranger Commence. It's Brown Table's original animated series that's airing on the channel. Episodes 1 and 2 are out, and episodes 3, 4, and 5 will release this year. As I scroll through Twitter, some days, sometimes My Hero pops up, and sometimes manga panels pop up, colored by this one artist. They're called Hexamendal, and they do incredible work. It's gorgeously colored, right? Obviously the show doesn't look like this. It's different artists, different medium, different direction. Manga art can be interpreted in many different ways, but sometimes even the anime itself doesn't replicate the rawness of Horikoshi's art. And sometimes it does the opposite. Sometimes it relies too much on that visual and doesn't attempt to do anything new. It doesn't play around with the fact that it's an animated medium. Biggest thing right out of the gate. You see that sky? This sky is my mortal enemy. Nothing too atmospheric. So take this shot. I want to fix it up, right? How do I do this as quickly as possible, but also as effectively? First, 
First off, I want to get rid of this blue background and make it a gradient instead. Let's say the sun is behind Shigaraki. Now at this point, I have to do two things. I have to add shadow on top of the Shigaraki animation as the sun is coming in from behind the character. And from there, I just color grade and voila, wasn't too hard, I'd say. You're just delaying the inevitable. You're just delaying the inevitable. Now in season six, there's this big war going on, right? And it's definitely a choice to have it just be a blue sky and bright colors. And I get it, it's daytime. But that doesn't mean you can't skew around certain things to really fit the mood of the scene. We take a movie like Lord of the Rings, it's during the day. The final battle is during the day, but it's lit in a way that makes you feel like this is it. It's dreary, it's a bit desaturated, but it's still got strong contrasts. Same with Avatar. It's during the day, but it looks dynamic. They play with fire to create some interesting looking shots. Or even Avatar The Last Airbender, the cartoon. It does the same thing. Also looks awesome. My hero doesn't have to reserve dynamic lighting for specific moments. You can just do it all the time. And if you want a more dynamic shot, then just make it even more dynamic than you usually make it. It really helps set the mood for everything, you know? So we reached the main bit of this video. I want to rework a small scene from the anime. The main scene being the Shigaraki drop. I don't think it's that impactful and it doesn't match the intensity of the manga. First thing I want to do is reanimate this scene and have Shigaraki almost propel himself towards the camera, basically a wind up before the launch. So we start by animating on top of the original animation, but I want to rework the movement to make it feel a little more erratic and have there be more of a wind up. Make him move his arms up and then compress himself down so it kind of feels like he's becoming a cannonball. I also want to fix the hair and make it blow in the wind to make it feel more intense. And lastly, one of the biggest things was replicating this panel a little better. The line work of the intensity Horikoshi gave is palpable. So I'm tracing over that illustration and adding a new brush too, just to make that one frame feel a little more intense. As for the Shading, I wanted to add some more to the whole shot to make it feel more dynamic. Does it make sense lighting wise? No. But you know what? It looks cool. Why doesn't it make sense? It's because I positioned the sun in front of Shigaraki, which by the way was hard to do because I had to track the camera movements of the shot itself. And so after compositing the rest of the scene, this is what the end result is. This game is coming to an end! Coming to an end. So what's the conclusion here? I didn't have that much time to make this video, honestly, so I'm really glad with how it ended up looking. A huge takeaway is that I didn't really have to reanimate much at all. Goes to show that I was spitting. The show is fine, it doesn't do anything terribly bad. The issue is that it needs to take into consideration its presentation way more. The show is animated really well at times, but people can still be disappointed with the overall atmosphere of the show, as it can really fall back on pretty simple lighting. And this is Studio Bones we're talking about. They made Skate the Infinity, they made Carol and Tuesday. The studio makes some really gorgeous looking animation, so why can't my hero look like this? At the end of the day, I set out looking for a challenge, because my hero academia already looks good, unlike Marvel's Spider-Man's color grading, unlike the entirety of X-Arm. I figured out that, yeah, the show can look like it's OPs and EDs if it wants to, and with some simple tweaks and changes, it can become that much more dynamic. Hey, you made it to the end. Thanks so much for watching the video. Make sure to check out Interstellar Ranger Commence, the animated series Brown Table is working on right now. Episodes 1 and 2 are already out. And speaking of Interstellar Ranger Commence, thanks so much Cry Wishes for this Art of Hope Griffin from the show. I really love your style. She looks super dope. Thank you so, so much. And of course, thank you so, so much patrons for supporting the channel. You guys are awesome. I'm extremely glad you took the channel's new direction incredibly well. I really appreciate it. So thanks so much for that. And of course, if you want to become part of the table, all all you have to do is subscribe and turn on notifications and you will get a chair. Once you have a chair, you will have a permanent seat at the brown table and you will get the powers of young Midoriya. That is right, you will literally become OP as hell. So thank you so much for coming to the table and I'll see you all next time.